bus. What's that? A miniature bus. Great to see though, means the stocks are on the way up I suppose. <laughs> Baby bass. Well it's uh, not much bigger. It's bigger. But it's bigger than the one I had. Well done mate. Thank you. Tidy stuff, well done. Well welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Not just welcome back to the channel, but welcome to an Anglesey estuary. Now this evening guys, um, as you've seen, there's already been a couple of small bass and a little bit of banter between me and my sister. Um, I've come and stood at the end of my rod here so you can see how low I've actually got my rod set. Reason for that is there's quite a few mullet moving up and down. Now we're not here for the mullet this evening but we are here in search of maybe some bass, some flounders, maybe a mullet. Haven't really got the mullet gear but seen a few mullet coming up and down the estuary so I thought, why not, let's have a shout at them. Um, this evening, I've got somebody with me. Um, I've got my sister, which you've obviously seen. That's caught a bigger fish than me. Um, I best point that out because she will want me to. Um, but this evening, I've got somebody with me that it's the first time I've actually met this chap. Um, and he's a subscriber. Now... The great thing about what I'm trying to do in my channel is I'm trying to inspire people to go out fishing. Now, uh, Rob, which is sat over there, I'll introduce you to him in a little bit, messaged me back at the start of, on mid last year sometime, um, and said that he was really enjoying the channel and he'd love to get out fishing with me at some point. Now, um, he hasn't done a lot of fishing, or he has done a lot of fishing, but he hasn't been out much and hasn't done a lot of sea fishing in the recent years. Um, and then obviously he's added me on social media and we've been having a bit of chit chat backwards and forwards. And then he said he was off today and about a year later, um, I've said, well, I'm going to fish an estuary. It's quite safe, quite an easy venue to go to. Um, would you like to join me? So he's come along and uh, hopefully he's never had a smooth hound. So hopefully as we get to top of the tide, I have said there's no promises, but there is hopefully a chance that he'll get a smooth hand here this evening. So I've brought him here with hopes that we'll see a few fish. Um, myself and my sister have already had a fish. Um, as I'll note again, hers was bigger than mine, but uh, I caught the first one. <laughs> um, we weren't filming then, we were just setting up, getting to know each other. Well, I know my sister, do you know what I mean? But getting to know Rob and getting to know each other and having a bit of chit chat and we were fishing the start of the flood so yeah we, di we didn't have the camera rolling but we put them two clips in which i've put in the start of the video for you so uh yeah that's it basically we're here we're on an angle siestry hoping for some fish um and yeah let's just see what happens thanks for tuning in thanks for tuning in without further ado i think it'd be rude not to introduce rob to you so rob do you want to come over and say hello? Go on then, he says. Go on then, he says. Right, so uh, without further ado, we've got Rob in screen and saying hello. So, uh, like I say, it's the first time I've met yourself yeah, here. Yeah, first time. And uh, you've driven how many miles to get here this evening? Uh, 70. 70 miles to fish with me? Exactly. <laughs> Couldn't miss out on an opportunity. I've not been sea fishing in a long time, so just got to say thanks to Tommy for letting us come along and help us out. and. Hopefully get back into it, get a fish. Yeah, if we can get you a fish, that'll be a bonus. Um, Always. Be good to meet you. And uh, like I say, it's the start of the evening. Um, hopefully when we get a bit more water, we'll get you a first smooth hand. Um, nice. So yeah, we'll just see what happens, yeah? Definitely, just see what happens. Brilliant. Um, not many better places to be though on a Friday night. I'd rather be in the pub. <laughs> well, these days, I don't know if it's cheaper than the pub if you're buying, mate. But... Oh, well, yeah, true. Well, actually, you see the price of beer anyway. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so guys, this is Rob. My sister's over there. You've met her before or you've seen her before. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Tommy. So uh, keep tuned and hopefully we'll see some fish. Definitely hope. Well, hopefully there's plenty of fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, just have a quick update really, guys, before that light fades away. Um, we are literally on high water. It's 10 p.m. We're literally right on high water now. And... The fishing is really quiet. 
we're getting annihilated by crabs. Crabs are stripping the baits very quickly. Um, we have had a few bites between us, but it's really, really quiet, which is surprisingly, I thought there'd be a lot more fish. If I'm honest with you, I thought that we would get quite a lot of hassle from small bass, like you've seen at the start of the video, but they just don't seem to be there. Now, all I can think, because we're fishing with fresh crab, frozen crab, prawn, and fresh ragworm, wild ragworm, you got fish? Yeah. Missed it, yeah? And wild ragworm, yeah, you are over me. It's all right. Go on. Yeah. And uh, we're fishing with wild ragworm also. You sure you've not got a fish on that? No. I thought you did them for a minute. Go on, you're all right. Yeah, look. Went on the rag again. It's hammered the crab as well. So we are getting a few bites, guys, but they, they could be the small bass that I'm talking about because they're quick fast little bites or they could be small flounders now all i'm thinking is there was a lot of mullet that come up on the uh, flood so i'm thinking now maybe the fish have passed us on the flood and we might hopefully pick them up on the way back out so we're going to stick it out and fish an hour of the ebb and see what happens so yeah, I just thought I'd have a quick update with you before we lose the light. Oh, and I've got another confession to make as well. That I forgot the power pack that charges the phone. So uh, I'm on 40%. Um, so yeah, I'm on 40%, which is a pain in the neck. Um, and I'm going to have to like... Well, I'm not going to bring anything back now, unless we get some fish anyway. Because uh, at the moment, it's just been a bit of a chit-chat. Um, but I wanted to show that um, we're out fishing and doing something a little bit different. Um, so yeah, let's just see what happens, eh? Well, let's guys, see what happens. It's uh, coming up to one a.m. in the morning now, um, and we have moved Mark. When I say we, I mean me and Teresa. Um, so Rob joined us. He came all the way from by Wrexham way, seventy miles. Unfortunately. We didn't manage to find him a fish tonight. But the fishing was actually quite poor where we were. Um, I had the small bass, Teresa had the small bass. Um, so we offered him to come onto this mark with us, which is a beach, and we're now fishing the outgoing tide. So we'll be chasing the tide down. Um, hopefully we'll find a couple of fish here. It's been absolutely fantastic for me to meet Rob this evening and to meet somebody that's behind the screen and uh, one of the viewers and... Um, it's, it's been nice to get his feedback over the year that he's been following me and then to finally meet him has been absolutely great. So uh, as I say, and as you'll notice, it's raining, it's horrible, but as I say, we're on a beach, we're fishing the tide down, um, not far from where we were, so we're going to see what happens, guys. So please do keep tuned and see if we can get some fish on this mark. Got one this time, Trees? What have you got, mate? Guys, I'm sure you can tell by the footage, it's absolutely chucking buckets. What well, you got, Trees, a little bass? Yeah, little stingray. Little well, bass. Well, guys, we were just saying how strangely quiet it was. And then uh, a massive slack line. Now, look how gently that was hooked. Fishing with really small hooks. Well, we were just saying how really quiet it is. And I looked up. I had a massive slack liner, and there we go, we have a hound, it's not a big hound, a couple of pounds, but a nice, look at the fins on it, a nice angle, see hound, yeah, after a really hard night's fishing, a very welcome hound too, very, very welcome hound, so yeah, I'm winning Teresa. <laughs> No winners in this game. No winners in this game. I'll come in for So uh, let's get this hound back. Let's get it back and see if we can get a bigger one. Just watch each other the rigs on the floor there, in case you fall over it. Ah. 
Let's get this hound back. Beautiful. Off you go in the right direction as well. That makes a change. Oh, here we go, here we go. Go on, over you go. Over you go. Bit of a slack there. No, it's definitely there. It's coming towards me. Yeah, fish on. Fish on. Once again. We're missing a few because setting the camera up and because of the rain we have to put it away obviously this is the joys or the non-joys of filming at night and filming in the rain it's not as easy oh yeah come on it's not as easy as some people think I don't know if that's a decent fish or it's just picked up a bit of weed on the way in, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure. But yeah, we're trying our best in these conditions to get some footage for you guys. It isn't easy. I think it's another hound. I can see an eye shining out there. It's a baby hound. Or is it? Yeah, it's a baby hound. Thought it might have been a baby taupe then. That would have been wicked. But a little, little hound. A proper little hound. Let's get this one unhooked. Let's get it back. <laughs> Come on, support in there. Yeah. Straight away, a baby one. I'll go and put this one back. And we'll get the get the uh, camera out of the rain, eh? Simon's definitely having a go. Shall we check it? Shall we check it? Shall we check it? This rain's hard work, yeah. It is about half past two in the morning as well, you know. Yeah, something like that. Um, uh, it's not big, whatever it is. That tide's proper going out now as well. It's about quarter to three in the morning, man. About quarter to three in the morning. Weed. Ugh. I got weed on my top eye. Weed on the top eye, quarter to three in the morning. Yeah, time to go home, start again tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in guys. It's been great to have you on board again. It's been good to meet Rob this evening. My sister's had a few fish, I've had the most fish. I had to put that in because I said she had the biggest one earlier. Thanks for watching guys, till next time, keep safe, keep fishing, keep chasing them dreams.